Stephen Sondheim, better than mayonnaise, caffeine-free, and father of contemporary musical theater. Here are ten Sondheim things you might not have known. You're watching Musical Theater Mash. Sondheim tried to adapt Mary Poppins into a musical long before Disney gave it a go. It was a writing exercise assigned to him by his mentor, Oscar Hammerstein. Sondheim never finished the work, saying he couldn't figure out how to make disparate episodes hang together dramatically. He doesn't think Disney got it right either. He was adamant that the final line of G, Officer Krupp, Key, in West Side Story be the first use of the F word in popular Broadway theater. And it was actually Columbia Records, the recording company, that talked him out of it. Obscenity laws of the day would mean that the album couldn't ship over state borders with that kind of language in it, and so the punchline was changed to Krupp You, and Sondheim actually likes the new lyric better. Also in West Side Story, the famous Tonight Quintet is actually a quartet. Although there are five groups of people singing, the Jets, the Sharks, Anita, Tony, and Maria, there are only four melody lines. Tony and Maria sing the same melody. Catherine Hepburn and Stephen Sondheim were neighbors. Famously, Hepburn pilfered some of Sondheim's red geraniums, only temporarily though. Hepburn was filming in an interview and thought her pink and white flowers looked rather dull on camera. The longest piece of straight through music Sondheim has ever written is at the beginning of Into the Woods. It runs around 12 minutes when sung straight through. The longest note Sondheim has ever penned is in the very first song of Company, the extended love, in the very first song that runs about 40 seconds. It was actually a technical solution. In the staging, all of the cast members were in various parts across the stage and converged into one downstage formation. Well, this involved going going up and down stairs and writing down a really neat look in elevator and so Sondheim devised the easy to sing while walking and interminable love note. On the topic of company, in the little things you do together, the plinking high notes that end many of the phrases are actually an inadvertent accident. Sondheim wrote the piece while aboard the Queen Mary and the ship was listing starboard, causing him to slide higher and higher up his piano. Sondheim's preferred writing instrument is the black wing pencil from Eberhard hard favor. He prefers writing upon the 32-lined yellow legal pad. Both items discontinued, Sondheim has had the foresight to stock up on a lifetime supply. He also prefers to write on a couch so that he may instantly fall asleep if he ever reaches a difficult lyric. Rose's turn, before it was Rose's turn, was slated to be a surreal ballet where everyone from Rose's life confronted her. Now if you're not picturing Ethel Merman in a tutu yet, well, you're welcome. Sondheim wrote the majority of the number during a three hour long late night improvisation session with director choreographer Jerome Robbins in the rehearsal hall, the whole ordeal lit delicately by a single ghost light on stage. And finally, Sondheim calls his time adapting Aristophanes the Frogs one of his most unpleasant professional experiences. The whole production was fraught with problems, not the least of which were the orchestral acoustics. Taking place predominantly on the River Styx, the whole show was staged in and around a swimming pool at Yale. With the orchestra seated in bleachers behind the pool, combined with the tile normally found in most natatoriums, the acoustics were described by Sondheim as seeming piped in from a neighboring tunnel. And that's 10 Sondheim things that you might not have known. You know things now, many valuable things that you haven't known before. If you want to know more things, I'm going to Brady Bunch myself with just about every other time I've talked about Sondheim. And of course, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe because I talk about this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah? Cool. I'm gonna go into the woods. Or to have a Sunday in the park with George. Or to get a nice shave on Fleet Street. Or for a weekend in the country. Or to the west side of New York.